Hello everyone, how you doing there? I'm back with a new informative video from the same website www.hansenclinic.com We have started our series about atypical pneumonias and today is the second part or second video regarding atypical pneumonia. Our today's topic is Chlamydia CTC or we know it as Cytokosis. Before we start our video, please make sure to like and subscribe my channel. By doing this, you are supporting me. Now let's see what this website is telling us about Chlamydia CTC or Cytokosis. And as we know, this website will never ever waste our time. It will tell us each and everything to the point and short. So the agent for Chlamydia CTC is obligate intracellular bacteria. Source is bird faces. Mood of transmission for this agent or uh, I can say obligate intracellular bacteria is erosal from bird faces. The risk factor for this pneumonia includes bird exposure, pet shop owner, and fond of having birds. Pet shop owner, this risk factor is really very important risk factor. So keep it in your mind. So come to the clinical feature. Clinical feature includes low grade fever, dry cough, mild dyspnea, headache, myalgia, arthralgia, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. And the most important we can see here, this is in the red color. So of course, it should be the most important or most common clinical feature for this typical pneumonia, which is hepatitis. Now, in general physical examination, we will find the same thing bronchial breathe and coarse crepitation in investigation again we will find normal blood uh, normal wbc's investigation of choice would be serology and uh, for this typical pneumonia we will go for nt uh, anticlamydia igm in chest x-ray we will find bronchopneumonia and treatment according to this website is doxycycline i will provide you my previous video on atypical pneumonia in the description below and the link for this article and the link for this uh, website in the description below you just need to go to the description and click the link and you will get to this website or this article or you can see my previous video regarding atypical pneumonia and as I told you I will make almost uh, five to six videos on atypical pneumonia and this one is our second video or second part thank you so much for your time see you in the next video